Good morning, guys. It's uh, day two of being in Da Nang, and I'm gonna head to the beach. My hotel room is pretty comfortable, uh, small but comfortable. And I think I'm just behind this building right here. It's a little bit windy and not that hot out, but hopefully the beach will be okay. One of the reasons why I've been wanting to come to Da Nang for so long is that a lot of my nomad friends who live here and have said, that denying is like taking my the beach. A surfing beach, actually. So it's nice there's crosswalks, but the lights actually don't work. And I've heard in Vietnam, you need to just kind of cross. You can't wait, but nobody's gonna stop for you. beach is right here and I'm living right behind Sicilia and I see some boards already and uh, I see some surfers out so maybe maybe this might be okay guys what do you guys think it sounds nice <clears throat> white and powdery there's people laying out over here there's some boards for the rent right here. There's lockers for 30K. Coconut sellers. This is not too bad, guys. This beach is actually nicer than I expected. It's uh, so far, I would say, it's nicer than Johnson Beach. Definitely nicer than Hadia Beach. I have heard that there's a lot of current or riptides. This is why people don't actually swim here and there's actually signs that say don't swim. But I guess if you're on a surfboard, it's okay because then you can, you know, you have a floating device. That's what people are doing because there's a couple people with boards. That guy just kind of stepped on, on a white water. I mean, the, maybe today is just not a good day because the, the waves are very broken and choppy, but. Maybe it's still nice to even try. So there's a group of people right here. I'm assuming because of this surf shop rentals here. So even though these definitely are not good waves, like by any stretch of the imagination, I'm a complete beginner. I surfed in Sri Lanka once, but I'm not very good. And I haven't done it in over a year. I mean, no, no, over two years. So I think if I rent a board, it's like practice path to go. Yeah, the beach itself is pretty nice. Regardless of how good or bad these waves are. Let's see how much this costs. If they have a soft board, it'd be 150 per hour. Nothing. Whew, guys, I just got done with my surf sesh. If you I want to call it that, it was mostly me just getting battered around the water. Uh, I mean, to be fair, the waves are not the best today, but also I'm not a very good surfer. You can look, because it's a bit windy, it's, it's all broken, and it's pretty shallow as well. But it's all sand, so it's really easy to learn for beginners. But for now, Chill out, get some sun, and uh, enjoy the beach a bit. It's actually a pretty nice beach. The water is cold, not cold, but it's cold, much colder than Thailand, which is nice because it's kind of refreshing. Definitely a very, very nice beach, guys. I'm impressed. I'm gonna go home and uh, shower real quick and get some food because I'm starving right now. It's actually being in the water and fighting against the mini waves for. Probably wasn't even an hour to be honest, but whatever it was. Yeah, definitely a nice little beach. All right, so I took a little bit of a nap after the surfing, and now I'm gonna go for a pre-Tet Vietnamese New Year's celebration party. I've only been here for a few days, but this bad and bow thing you hear everywhere is super annoying. 
especially because you hear it from your room. Welcome to Vietnam, guys. Alright, here we go, guys. This is called the Trip 66. There's a Russian guy selling chocolates to Vietnamese people. <laughs> I guess they have to make money somehow. But yeah, it's all Vietnamese people here at this coffee shop and he's going around selling Russian chocolates. It's so funny. And the funniest part is he's selling it for like $6. And everyone's like, no, I'm not fucking buying that for $6. But I think some of them are just like kind of flabbergasted. Why is this like a white guy selling chocolates? <laughs> I guess it's uh, better than him going back to Russia and maybe getting scripted. Anyway, she's my office of the day. Oh my God, guys. This is right downstairs from my apartment. Like, you can't see it, but I'm literally behind this. Like, I can, I, I can almost connect to this Wi-Fi <laughs> from where I live. Maybe I can, actually. The upload's not quite as good, but it's still very, very good. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start coming here to upload instead of doing mine overnight. Do you speak English? What was he selling? Is it strange uh, to see like a foreigner selling chocolates? <laughs> yeah, me too. But I think he's Russian and uh, maybe he has no money. <laughs> Alright guys, after working here for a few hours, I'm gonna go and meet up Sammy. Uh, a guy I met the other night who has a food video channel and knows all about food, but we're actually gonna be going uh, to a beach club today because it's Sunday and we wanna relax. So let's check it out. It's supposed to only be $10 and that includes food and drinks. So it seems like too good of a value to pass up, especially at a five-star hotel. All right, so we're gonna meet them over here somewhere. Oh, guten Morgen, Sammy. Wow, what's good? Where are we going? We're gonna get some banh mi, ah. one of my favorite ones. And, and Sammy's the, the Vietnam food expert, so yeah. if you say it's good, I, I believe you. It is. It's, it's the best banh mi here in this area. Yeah. There are better ones, a little bit more local. Uh huh. But here, this one is always on point. Okay, let's check it out. Wow, it looks. Uh, I hope it's not this place, it looks very fancy. <laughs> okay, good. C4. Oh, so the good sign is here on this um, Ban Mi place. There's uh -huh. always a Grab driver because it's the number one rated Grab. Oh, really? Ban Mi, so. Ban Mi Ba Dao? Yes, it's Miss Dao. Miss Dao. 
Good morning, Ms. Dow. We are here for Ban Mei. Yeah, as well. But the Ban Mei's are the... the good? Go. Okay. I'm excited. That looks popular. Really. Can you tell me what, what the name of this is? Mi Guan. Mi Guan. Mi Guan. And what is it? The bean. It's uh, noodles. Uh -huh. uh, rice noodles with beef. Oh, oh, it's a it's the number one thing here in the Nang. Really? I never had it before. It looks like a beef pho with tortilla chips in there mm -hmm. and Chinese uh, onions. Nice <laughs> Try the original first. Okay. Because you know that with Vietnamese noodles, you have to uh, put things yeah. in there. It's very very thick. It almost tastes like um. It's definitely not like pho. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. like kind of the same rice, rice, but it's different. It's yeah, so it's different. different. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is, but if you if you ask locals here in Da Nang, mm -hmm. this is what they eat every day for breakfast. Every morning, wow. Yes. It's, like it's, the, it's, it's their favorite dish. Yeah, and I need all this stuff inside. Yeah. I like so, in Vietnam. There's always like fresh herbs and vegetables. Mix them up. Um, maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. But, yeah. Like it's acidity. so fresh. And if you like uh, chili, you can put some chili. A little bit of this one? You can try this one as well. I mean, you know, you know how it goes. You can teach everything just a little bit oh to make God. make it like perfect. Yeah, that's pickled um, onions and I carrots. I really like these pickled stuff. I, it, it's like, oh, I don't remember it. I think uh -huh. here, like everywhere, and even in my... Uh, yeah, in like even Bambi I had pickle stuff. Yeah. Where's the green chili on oh, there? Maybe he wants to try the green chili thing. What green chili thing? Yeah. Oh, 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 you're talking about this. Be careful. It's good. It's, he likes it very much, but uh, be careful. Just try it. Just try it. Wish me luck. Uh, okay. Are they the same? Yeah, they're the same. Oh, nice. You can see. Is it normal? Like a lot of people no. smash it first? Yeah. I mean, so I, it, I actually I, I press it here. Yeah. It. Why? It's just like it because it's yeah. You will it's too see. Big? You will see. Try it out. Uh, especially at the ends. Ah. Uh, it's like more hard. Yeah. So, so you just break it off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yum yum. <laughs> this is good. Okay, what you saying, Johnny? How's your ban mi? Very good. I was expecting it to be crispy pork belly, but it's like a soft tender yeah. one. It's also very good. Yeah, I got a place with a um, crispy one and a butcher, a special one. I can show you that too. The good thing about here is always it's uh, always solid. It's, it's like a McDonald's. It yeah. stays always the same. How much is this? Um, 25k. One dollar. Wow. <laughs> one dollar. Wow. <laughs> less than one dollar. Oh and it, that's only because it's uh, directly <laughs> on the tourist zone. Oh my god. I can eat this three times a day and basically eat for three dollars. That's insane. That's, so many. That, that, that's what my friend actually did. <laughs> mm. And they go surfing? Yes. For eight dollars? <laughs> A frog leg hey. dealer <laughs> wants to buy some escargot. You know, Illegal. Mess with us. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we're good. Oh, I'm hopping over there. Yeah. All right. So we got another. Today. If you can. Yeah. Weird. I don't know if that's useful or not. No, no, I'll do it. Okay. All right. Dress safe. We'll follow you. All right. You ready? Yeah.
Thank you for the ride. Yes, sir. Keeping us safe. Yes, sir. So we took a golf course. Sammy, you driving? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh -huh. well, I'm back in my work here. Yeah, yeah. You know, this is what I'm doing here. <laughs> yeah. The best guide. The driver. I, I can, he'll drive for more. <laughs> <laughs> Abdul Jabbar jersey on. <laughs> Why am I so far? But it's okay. I know this guy. Yeah. Is he good? He's one of the best. Oh, nice. yeah, yeah. I got you on tape saying that, so you might get some haters in the comments. <laughs> guys we got our pass thank you very much come on and for 250 which is 10 bucks now this is the beautiful part look at the way oh so beautiful this is like oh. <laughs> no wow actually it is really nice but for yeah for 250 this is actually not just entrance this is credit yes it's credit so it's the best that you can get somewhere yeah oh this foot massage area Take turns. <laughs> All right, so guys, even though the public beach is just like one kilometer up, this is way nicer. Like 200 right? meters. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's so close. But it's so much nicer because yeah. I, the these are like manicured. They're raking it probably every morning, getting rid of little little stones. And there's a pool as well. But do you think these people were even staying here? They just just walk up the beach and. Hang out somewhere nice. You can just walk all the way, but there's also one entry. Uh -huh. uh, you can take the motorbike there, like one kilometer there, and then you can park there and get into this kind of. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, nice. You have to walk a lot. That's yeah. why normally locals just stay there where it's That's easy easier. Park. Yeah. Oh, really nice. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even need to bring my towel. Yeah, bring your towel. Oh, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't bring anything because I needed to get it. Hello, come on. Thank you so much. Uh, maybe the, over here? It's okay. Yeah, you can sit there, bro. Yeah, yeah, where do you want to sit? Out there. Okay. We'll all stay together. One big thing. Guys, I wish I had a zoom camera, but there's a guy riding a motorbike in the sea, basically. What is he doing? Welcome to Vietnam, guys. Johnny FD. <laughs> the kid's getting scared here. <laughs> I like it. All right. Oh, yeah. Lotion him up. This will be for the bonus content, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's for channel members only, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Got our fruit shakes. Virgil pina colada, mm. mango shake. Mm. That's all we need. Let's see them playing. Oh! Oi, oi, oi! <laughs> So we got some pizzas. I got my margarita. And we got set. <laughs> Guess what's <one's> my life? <laughs> How is it, Johnny? It's actually surprisingly really good. Like, really good pizza. I didn't think it would be. I don't know why. And perfectly, my uh, Virgin Pin Prada and this pizza was 250000 which was the, the entrance price. So, yeah. I like didn't even plan it that way. And I'm basically eating for free. <laughs>
And with this view. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, okay. I'm gonna help. Oh, we, we need the tall guy. So there's no uh, bugs? You gotta tie it. You tie it on the bottom. Like a, like a sailor. Yeah. How's the seafood? Try one. I don't, even, I don't eat seafood. I know. No, no, no I just don't like it. It's so good. Like, the thing is, the seafood is fresh. Yeah. yeah Vietnam has, I think, the best seafood. Mm. Yeah. Everybody always goes to Thailand expecting that there'll be really good seafood. Mm -hmm. And there is. But, like, I think Vietnam, from what I've seen, has way more and yeah. it's way fresher as well. Now, this, this is a perfect way to spend a Sunday. And we only spent $10. <laughs> For entrance for food and a drink. How amazing is that? I went to Hanoi alone. I went to Hanoi alone in a state and I went to her parents' place. Like, not speaking Alright, guys, it was a really fun day hanging out with Sammy and the crew, but I'm gonna head back and uh, I'm gonna massage or something, man. Sort of a bit messed up. But. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a little walk on the beach home. It's only 10 minutes from here. I like how everyone's in elephant pants here. But yeah, Premier Village, highly recommended. Super cool place, nice pool, really good food, amazing pizza, like surprisingly good pizza for being at a resort on the beach and a really nice beach as well they have this like really powdery white sand that all of the night has but it's really really clean and less crowded you can see over there how many people there are and here it's like a lot more sparse <laughs> Just some people here playing volleyball. Good volley. These are you guys are really good. All right. And over here we got people hanging out. Kids building a little road. It's nice to see locals playing on the beach as well. People in the water. And we even have a lifeguard. Oh wow, look at these little boat things. These round boat things. I was wondering who was playing this kind of ominous music. <laughs> and it's actually from the loudspeaker, so it's government. How random is that? And this is actually a life guard boat where they can go out and save people. Being in Vietnam, I can see why socialism isn't that bad. <laughs> this like, communist music, it's kind of like, yeah, go, go work hard during the week. On the weekends, go with your family and enjoy the city. But remember, the government will take care of you. Here's another lifeguard tower. Giant clam. People dancing on the beach. So show me like who's in this apartment. Let's spy on somebody. <laughs> Let's see if we see someone like changing or something. Wow, that's so crazy. Nice, yeah. Oh, that person's naked. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I need to get myself a iPhone 15 Pro Max. What am I still doing with this 13? I can't show you guys anything. Find out find the new iPhone. I could like zoom in on this thing, but. That's all I got. That's probably choppy. 
but I have noticed that it always has red flags and says no swimming. I don't know if it's a current or what, but it's not really a swimming beach. It looks like the sun is just setting, but it's on that side. So I think this would be a sunrise beach, which I'll never wake up for, unfortunately. But yeah, overall, really nice place. Really nice place to go for a long walk. Maybe we're gonna run. I'm gonna start walking here more. And I'm glad I walked back and I didn't like, attempt to take a cab or anything. This is excellent. I'm really, really happy with this kind of chill Sunday. Sunday's a day. So it's not quite New Year yet, but it looks like they're getting ready for it. All right, for dinner, I've stopped at this super local place where students and grab drivers eat. It's called Hoi Chil. And you can see I'm literally the only foreigner here. And this noodle dish is only 25,000 dong, which is exactly one US dollar. And it comes with a couple of big pieces. The only thing that's slightly annoying is how loud it is here sometimes and how low and uncomfortable these seats are. But this is the local way to eat, guys. Mm. It's super tasty. Super nice broth. I feel like this is the type of place that after we would eat, probably would just go to. Well, the locals will actually put this stuff in. Maybe a little lemon and a chili. I don't think it needs any lemon. And of course, some of this spicy sauce as well. Guys, that was delicious. I ended up having two bowls with some of these fresh vegetables they give us. The funniest thing is, this is the napkins, guys. It's literally a piece of paper. Like, you could write on this. It's recycled, as you can see. But it's like a piece of actual paper. So I'm about a 30 minute walk to my place. I decided to grab a taxi because it's only a dollar and fifty cents. But because this dinner is so cheap, my taxi is actually more expensive than my food. How crazy is that? Here's my Kia guys, even though the scooter is half the price. These are so cheap that why would I, right? For Johnny? Hello. Hello. Oh, nice car. <laughs> yes. Fifteen. <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, America. Ah, America. Yeah. You from Da Nang? Yes. Oh, nice. Happy ten. <laughs> This guy spent $35,000 on the car and the ride is $1.50. I'm trying to calculate how many rides he would have to make to make that back that money. It's crazy. Hello, how are you? Bye. Oh my god, every day I hear this. I hate it so much. Shh. <laughs> oh.